to catch. Oh my god, I can't believe he said that word. 2004? Yeah, people were still using that word in 2004. Oh, so today I'm gonna be reacting to a comedian called Norm MacDonald. I have heard of Norm MacDonald, but I've never seen him before. It's really interesting with these comedians because I don't know what I'm going into. I don't know if it's gonna be silly comedy. I don't know if it's gonna be really offensive comedy. And I guess that's kind of exciting. I'm in it for the cake. So let's just check it out, knowing absolutely nothing about this dude. I think he may have passed away. Norm Macdonald, stand-up comedian, passed away 2021. Oh, that's sad. Oh, he wasn't old at all. Oh. Before getting into the video, do be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, your dog is gonna do things that make you go, do you wanna be here? Do you wanna go somewhere else? Do you wanna go for a walk? Do you want a treat? And he's not gonna tell you. I know they can't talk, but usually he tells me. What's wrong? You just wanna cuddle, okay. Anyway, to avoid such a fate, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Norm Macdonald. 2004, okay. What was happening in 2004? Justin Bieber? Rapturous applause. Well, we, uh, we're here to look back on the uh, year that was and all the different crazy things that happened during the year. And, uh... Uh, I, I didn't catch a lot of it. Does he look really like that actor that was in The Walking Dead or is it just me? I feel I can say with 90% certainty it's just you. I think he really does. He said that he didn't catch a lot of the year? So I'm not sure what that means. Of course we all know that there's an election. Oh! You know? Oh! Big is that election? election? He was up there. And it was a very important election. It was probably our most important election. And people had very strong opinions on the election. You know, some people had very strong opinions one way, and other people had strong opinions the other way. And, uh... Very on the fence there. I didn't have any opinions at all. Well, just like me, no uh, opinions. I don't have really any opinions on anything. Politically. Like, you ever watch the CNN, and they'll have the polls, you know, and it'll be like, what do you think about embryonic stem cell research? And then it'll be like, see, there you go. It'll be like, it'll be like 52% yes, 46% no, 6% I don't know. See, and that's me. I don't know. <laughs> Why would you vote if you didn't know? So I phone up to CNN, you know, and I go, hey, uh, listen, is this the TV? Uh, yeah, that question you asked about the embryonic stem cell research? I don't know. Right? But no, you know, you should, I admire people who have strong opinions, you know, like uh, Linda Rodstad, she did that thing, you know, where she was, got up and sang and everything, and then she started talking. And then people were going, God damn, I thought she was supposed to sing. And, uh, yeah, so much of that. So much of that. And she just that. kept talking, and finally they were like, come on, man, sing those only two songs we ever heard you sing. We're trying to... Yes, I'm so, so sick of every actor, every singer, every celebrity having an opinion about politics or whatever it is that is not, like, relevant to what they do. I'm, I'm happy if you have an opinion in your personal life, but some of them, some of them, not all, but some of them talk like their opinion should be more important than anybody else's. Like you have these actors on these soapboxes and I'm like, all you do is act. I just wanna see you act in movies. I don't wanna know who you're voting for. I, I just don't. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion. That's just how I feel. $45 ticket I'm holding here. You know, celebrities have, uh, uh, they can speak up, you know, they're, they're smart, you know, some of them, most of them are, 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 are dumb, but some of them. <laughs> because I meet celebrities, I'm a celebrity, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and so I can, I meet celebrities, and I know as soon as I shake their hand, I know, hey, there's a dumb guy, you know, I got, because I'm a dumb guy myself. And I got that, you know how gay guys have the gay dar? <laughs> I'm like that with dumb people. Okay. I'm like, hey, how's it going? Hey, I could have a conversation with you, man. I... 
So at the end of the election, you know, it was trouble for the both candidates because they had the undecideds like me didn't know. And so they were trying their hardest to get us to know, but, you know, we were all dumb. We didn't know. And <laughs> then they decided to go with commercials where they just have some animals in them, you know? Really? <laughs> like, I remember one, it was... Just a reminder, America is one of the few places that has these amazing political ads and campaigns. I don't think, maybe there are other places in the world, but nowhere that I've lived in Europe has these campaigns and advertisements. Like, it's a much more straight race. You're not allowed to slander your opposition. You're not allowed to put out anything like showboaty. Like, there's a rule. I know in Ireland there's a rule. You're not allowed to put anything overly glamorous out as a campaign. They're very basic campaigns. Don't get me wrong, they fight dirty, but they're not as razzle-dazzle as the American campaigns. Also, I'm interested in the fact that he calls himself dumb. It's already making me think he's very not dumb because not dumb people call themselves dumb sometimes and dumb people think that they're extremely intelligent. It was a bunch of wolves, you know, and, uh, and then the narrator, he goes, hey, do you want a bunch of wolves to eat you? <laughs> You're like, damn, no, no. that's a bad... <laughs> that's the last thing I want. And then the other character, he came out with his own, because the wolf thing was working good. And so his was, he goes, character. would you rather be a ostrich or a eagle? And you're like, ah, that's a tough one there. <laughs> and the guy's like, you'd rather be an eagle, you re yeah. <laughs> I would, yes, because then the wolf can't jump up as high enough <laughs> to catch. Oh my God, I can't believe he said that word. 2004? Yeah, people were still using that word in 2004. The or word. Still kind of shocking to hear, I, even though I know it was back then. And people just said it commonly. It's like so not okay now to say that word that it's shocking. Yeah. So you're like, all right, all right. Uh, I'll tell you what I do like in the news, the uh, big murder trials, you know, because I can follow that, you know. I, yeah. And now we have the greatest one that's coming up, you know, because it's the best when celebrities are up for murder, because then you know the guy, you know. And uh, so... Right? So uh, they selected the jurors for the Robert Blake trial, so that will move on, and I'm happy about that because I love Robert Blake. Ever since I was a kid, watched him. Beretta, my favorite show. God damn, that was a good show. I will say one thing about Robert Blake. The guy appears to have uh, uh, not the greatest alibi I have ever heard. <laughs> Seems to be a relatively weak alibi to me. You know, and I'm no jurisprudence, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, this is his alibi as far as I can figure it out. He goes, it couldn't have been me who uh, shot my wife in the secluded area over by the uh, side of the ditch. Oh, Jesus. On account, I have an alibi. Oh, where were you? I, I had to go back to the restaurant. I forgot my gun. Seriously? Is that real? Is that a real thing? Then I got my gun. I went back to where my wife is, and God damn, somebody shot her. Not, not the best. Now. I'm gonna look into that situation. Never heard of it. So I don't know what alibis he discarded before he decided to go with that one, but. See, see, this is the thing with celebrity trials, you know, is that it really gets the country all worked up. Because the last celebrity murder, of course, we had was the O.J. Simpson murder. And what happened there oh, is O.J. Simpson was uh, acquitted of murder, you know. And then all the black people thought that O.J. was innocent. And all the white people thought really? that O.J. was guilty. So what happened was it created a racial divide in the country. I don't think it was that I black that of my it? it created a... <laughs> but what that means is, of course, the races were divided, you know? And that's no good, you know? 
So I was thinking, I was figuring, maybe, uh, what do you think of this? Maybe we let Robert Blake off and call it even. And then... Interesting. I really like that guy for some reason. I like his, I'd like to see more of him for sure. He's kind of like an everyman kind of person. And I particularly like his self-deprecating humor because that's very Irish of him. That's it for today. See you guys on the other side. Bye. Hello. <laughs> You're getting closer and closer to the camera every video. Are you okay? Do you have bed head? He has bed head. Oh, I'm sorry, did I introduce you not? Introduct? That's not a word. Oh my God, look at his face. Look at his face. He's been asleep on my lap this whole video. Oh, we're all laughing at you, Chief.